Hi everyone and welcome to another tutorial on SkySiv Structural 3D. Uh, today we're going to take you through some uh, simple ways that you can review the results of your analysis model uh, a lot quickly, a lot more quickly and a lot easier um, than traditionally it, it's been. So we're looking at a, a simple structure here but it still has quite a few uh, members here, so probably about 300 members. Um, and we've got 10 load combinations, so we've uh, imported these from ASCE uh, 710. Um, and, you know, going through these different um, load combinations and reviewing the results can be a tedious process. So we've implemented some features that will make this a lot quicker for you to uh, analyze and to um, uh, review these, these results. So um, we've implemented some envelope cases so you can look at uh, the mins and max of the entire um, set of load combinations. Uh, we'll just focus on the envelope uh, absolute max, which takes the absolute maximum values of each of these results and uh, displays them on the, on the graph here for you. So if we're looking at moment, this is going to show the worst case scenarios at each member uh, based on all the load combinations that you have. Um, and as you can see, sometimes it can be quite difficult to interpret. Um, so there's some functions that, that help, so for instance, holding S and scrolling or using this will, will help you uh, kind of uh, scale out the results. Um, you can also select individual members if you want to isolate those members to review those results or also um, just control highlight to, to review some of those as well. Um, the 3D renderer helps you can get color coordination, uh, color contour of all the results so you can see where your peak uh, forces are. But we've also implemented some things in the wireframe. So we have max and min reference here. So we can see the max and min bending moment forces. Um, but a new feature that we've released is this, uh, this kind of warning system that, that will highlight in red uh, members that you should take particular interest in uh, because they are exceeding. Uh, the yield or um, ultimate stress of the uh, material that you've selected for that particular member. So here on this menu, we can see uh, we can toggle on different settings. So for instance, now we're looking at the yield stress. Uh, you can look at the ultimate stress and see that one member there is failing. Or you can implement some custom value. Um, so say we want to uh, review anything above 300 megapascals. Uh, we can enter 300 and we'll just highlight those members. And it's quite useful to isolate these members, so we can uh, just look at those. Uh, maybe they're the ones that we're we only really worried about is anything over that 300 megapascal um, result there. So that, that criteria we would uh, internally say is a failure, um, then we want to know which members are uh, yeah, failing that particular criteria. Uh, it also works on the deflection limit, so this is uh, by default set to O over 250. But if you toggle on displacement, and making sure that this tick box is uh, ticked on for spam, um, you can basically check what members fail the, the deflection limit that you've set um, here. And again, you can control this if you want to, uh, to change that and review any other um, results that you would like to in the structure. So I hope this helps you uh, evaluate your models a lot quicker uh, and a lot more easily. Um, so just by toggling this right menu here, it's automatically available to all of our users uh, as we are 100% on the cloud. Uh, any update or any feature that we add to the software gets automatically pushed to all of our users with nothing to download or install. So simply refresh the browser and you'll have access to all this extra functionality. Uh, we hope you enjoy it and feel free to send through any comments or feedback that you have uh, to support at skysiv.com. Otherwise, thanks for checking us out and we hope to talk to you soon. Thanks.